Oh, could this be the moment? Could this be the moment? Maybe not. No. Oh, unrequited love. Hello there everybody, it's TechnoJock back with another Minecraft 1.13 vanilla style. And behind me you can see my villagers eager to get breeding and repopulate this village. If you recall last time I said that I'd managed to find another villager it's hiding away in the corner away from all the zombies and stuff, so we do actually have just the two villagers just now. Uh, but I'm going to make a kind of ghetto villager spawner and repopulate things and then we'll work from there. So, I am just very quickly going to hop on over here and I'll get these guys out here and I'm just going to let them loose in this potato field. And they should be more than happy to be in here. And, yeah. There we go. You're out of there. And if I can just do this without killing this guy. There we go. So these folk should be... Oh, he's keen to get going with these potatoes. He's seen a field of potatoes that needs harvested. So that's fine. He'll get going with that. I'm going to take down these fences because they're not really needed anymore once this guy goes in here. Come on, on you go. On you go. There, and... Right, that's you. That's your new home. You do... They do actually have a little housey over there that I have got set up. Well, something must be working because we've now got two brown coats and we've got a little cartographer or librarian. Oh, he's a librarian with a mending book trade. That would be nice. Just trying to corral these guys back into here now because... See, there. I think it's going to be easier if I get these guys put in here, and that way they'll be closer together to breed. Here we go. Looks like these two are going to breed just now as well. Maybe I should look away. But yeah, I'm going to get them all put in here, and then I'll manually harvest this and bung a bunch of, uh, bung a bunch of stuff to them. And um, then we can start picking them out of here a little bit easier. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, we've got these guys in here, right. And they are breeding in there, and I want to make this into a proper villager breeder. So I have fenced in this bit, so I've got some emergency corralling. And we've got two pairs, and I think there's a little baby. Yeah, there's a little baby over there. That's fine. So two pairs will probably be fine. Possibly even be a little bit uh, excessive for what we're wanting to do. But what I need is I need to make little, little sort of pens, little corrals for these guys where they are stuck in together. So I have got some fence posts. I've got some glass so they don't suffocate. And that's what I'm wanting to do just now. So I think one here I put one here, and then I get rid of this, get rid of the surrounding stuff like this. So I'll make like that. Perfect. That should be fine. And then if I do similarly there, and oh no, I need to. Do, uh, still don't have a silk touch pick pick to uh, get that back up there. Right. Let's see. Can I persuade one to go up there? Maybe a slab. Maybe a slab would encourage them. It's not very easy to manoeuvre in here with all these guys pushing. Come on. No? There we go. Right. Can I persuade one of them to go up on that? Come on. Come on, you know you want to jump up on that. It'd be nice. Look, look. Just jump up on here. Ah, they can't get up on that. Right, okay. And it's getting night time again. Amazing. Right. Oh, there we go. Right, you in there. There. Oh. 
Oh, so close. Right, I might have to do this in a slightly different manner. But that's fine. Right, let's sleep and see what I can come up with. Well, unfortunately at this point, I have lost the voiceover audio from the following clips, but I shall do my best to do a post-production voiceover. So I've managed to get our villagers into these little areas here, but I need to get them up on top of fence posts. So I have got two villagers in each thing. That little baby there will eventually grow up, and that will be fine. Um, so I need to put glass up here and then use water to make them f to make them swim up into these little bits and then I can block them in at the bottom, which I've already done with that pair there, as you can see. Fine. Um, so I just need to bring these little compartments up to that level and then put the water in at the bottom, like so, and then shove them in which is easier said than done at this point. So the idea is just to give them a little nudge. As you can see, his head's just stopping him from going in there. And I want to be careful because I don't want them to drown in the water. It's possible for them to be stuck and be dr and drown if we're not careful. But by the same token, I also want to be careful not to give these guys too much freedom because they'll escape from here and then be a pain to get back in. So there you go, you can see Bob up a little bit, and then I need to get in there and kind of nudge them in. There we go, that's that, that guy in. But the problem I think is his legs are kind of bumping into this guy and he's not able to get in. If I try from this angle, he's just not being pushed in far enough and the other guy's bobbing down a little bit and stopping him from going in it seems. And then of course he gets stuck in a corner and then I can get in behind him and it's a right pain. So we're going to need to do some finagling. Right, well I've got some of them up in place and I've given myself significantly more room to play around with down here so I'm not constantly bumping into fences. So I just need to usher this one last guy over into the water stream and hopefully that will be this bit done. Come on, in you go. There we go. Perfect. He's up in place and I just need to put the last fence post in at the bottom and just block off this bit of water. And then we can take the bucket of water out of here. And that's them in. Perfect. Excellent. We can take the supporting blocks off from the side. We don't need to get back up there. And then, being very careful not to take out the wrong ones, we can take out the extra fence posts at the bottom as well. Uh, that guy I'm not too fussed about with. He's an extra one. Um, he might be okay for trading with. Just make sure that we don't take out the wrong one and have to start from the beginning. Right, that's it. They're done. They're in place. That is the breeding cell. So when we feed these guys up, the baby ones should drop out the bottom there. We can take out all of this stuff around here because we hopefully shouldn't have any more escapees. Perfect. Next bit done in the bottom. So this is where the, the little baby ones are going to drop in. I've got little baby one there actually. So we've got a bucket of water in the corner and it's flushing them over into this way. So then once they grow up here we can uh, pick them up and put them wherever we need to take them off to. So we're going to have them grow up here and um, not too bothered by them being there. But if we put a slab in here then it means that only the baby ones can get over here. They'll stay over here and then they'll grow up and then they won't be able to go back the way because they'll be too tall to go through. So that's the idea in this little bit. Right, things have changed up significantly, as you can see. I have glassed in a fair bit and have made a new structure around this. It's still largely the same, but it now goes off in that direction down towards there. And as you can see, I do actually have some adult villagers that have already gone in there. But um, it's, it just goes all the way off down there to beyond this village. That's the idea. So same idea here, and it's the same s same build that we've got, but we're just going to be having our villager trading hall and s iron farm and whatnot way down there. 
beyond 64 blocks away, so it is uh, going to be in a separate village, not counted as this one. So the mob cap over here isn't affected. These guys are still up in the same bits, and I've glassed it in a little bit more, and I have got some bits here ready to push in to glass them in a little bit better. But there you go, you can see there's that slab there stopping the adult villagers from getting out, but um, exactly the same as it was before, just going in a different direction. And then through there we've got our water elevator that pushes them up into that water tunnel there. All looking good. Hello guys, how are you doing? So yeah, they've been pushed to the end of this bit of water here, as you can see just there, and it pushes them along and it gets so far out here, and then we will put some more water in place, um, and they will be pushed along by another bit. Next bit we've got to do then is just to make these guys a little bit easier to feed and um, to to make sure we don't lose food. You'll see there is a glass block that I now stood on because it's glass this guy's not getting uh, suffocated, but it means we can throw food down onto this. Those villagers can still pick it up, but it's not going to fall through and go into the water below and then we would need to have some sort of hopper to pick it up. So, and I've just put that glass there at the moment so uh, I don't fall in. So what I'm going to do is grab a piston and a button. And I've already got the block set up for this, so I need to put the push this glass block in, um, and I've already, that's what I just did there, so I'll grab the piston, put it there, put the button on the top, and press the button, and there we go, that glass block is now in place, and I'll place that one just to make everything look nice, and we can pick this back up, it has done its job. Like that, and that will be all good get back over onto this bit here and um, we can take that glass block off the top now because even if we step down in there, perfect, we're not going to fall all the way through. Replace these ones because I don't need access to that and then I just need to do the same thing on this side here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. No, no. We're going to need to go down on that level. I did think that's potato. Let's just grab that. Put it there, button, on the side, there we go, last block in place, perfect, replace that, and then pick this up again. Can I pick up all the bits? Amazing! I managed to catch them all. And then this, this one last one, that's the glass in place. Remove all those, pick that up in a minute and put these glass blocks back in place and we can take these ones off the top and that is this done up here other than throwing food in for them I haven't automated that yet um, and I'm not altogether sure if I'm going to to be perfectly honest I still need to manually farm anyway um, and having the control over when they're going to breed is probably a good idea. So yeah, I can just throw the throw the potatoes in anytime I like. As you can see, the villagers pick it up and they're th starting to throw it to each other there. That's good. Nice if they're able to start breeding at the moment. Improve my prove my point. Well, thank you, but I don't need any. But yeah, that should be them. All good. Okay, I think that's pretty much this done. These guys are happy. I've left this area here unplanted. I've got another big potato farm uh, in the bit just behind the tree there. I've replanted this bit over here as potatoes, and then there's another little patch over there you can just see over there. Oh, I saw a little of hearts. So it is working. Um, I wonder if they've produced anything there. Not seeing any little babies floating about at the moment, but it has been working. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely working. So that's good. So we've got the water stream in place here. They're still throwing food to each other, so they obviously need some more. And um, but the water stream is in place there. They'll float up and they'll go along here. And as you can see, I've got all the buckets in place that are pushing the villagers along. So that bucket of water is there, um, and then it flows out on along. 
and pushes them along. I haven't put ice or anything in there. I don't think it's necessary. It doesn't seem to be. They seem to be moving along quite happily on their own and they'll get pushed all the way along to here where there is a holding bit and that slab there shows the distance out. So anything beyond that slab that is counted as being that village. So these guys that land in this little hole along here will not be counted as part of the village. And they should just plop along here. I need to finish this up and then we can use them from this point and we can transfer them over to a, a trading hall, iron farm or wherever we need them. And that should be that. So I just need to fill in that hole there but I've run out of concrete at the moment and um, I'll put a trap door here so that they'll just fall off the edge of that and it's getting to be night time which is never a good sign when you've got villagers going about. So let's quickly get back into the village just now and uh, to relative safety. So this is looking very modern along here. And um, yeah, I think that counts pretty much as a completed build. So if you've liked the episode, please do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, comment if you've got any comments, make some suggestions for other things that we could be doing around here. But until the next time, everybody, of course, have a funs and bye bye